then moving on we wanted to talk about another update concerning streetwear type stuff or fashion type stuff and again it just it does it, it, it it, it kind of it gets worse before it gets better for Travis Scott in it it really does man um this is courtesy of TMZ it says here the news that we all kind of knew would be the case I don't think anybody even his strongest fans really thought this was not going to happen but it says here dual partnership put on hold in wake of Asher were tra tragedy so I think what was it what show was it did it mention anything but anyway th there was a deal yeah this is it for the dual 2020 collection um Travis Scott had a capsule kind of whatever thing tied in with Dior obviously Kim Jones is a big fan of hip-hop and obviously tied him in and brought him into the, the Dior project and it looked pretty decent from what I saw again I'm not a fan of it probably not going to purchase any of it but in terms of you know the synergy in terms of brands and him being friends and him being brand friendly at that time it made complete sense but obviously in the wake of the Asher World tragedy um, where all those kids died at his festival it just didn't make any sense for them to drop it. It just didn't make any sense whatsoever. It's kind of similar to what happened to Virgil, actually, RIP, when he went through that nonsense with the whole, like, donation money. And I think he had to do with the Michael Jackson collaboration, right? And they kind of backed away from that because of all the backlash that happened with that. So it's just a, it's a kind of standard protocol that happens when you are a big brand and you're dealing with some level of backlash online. You probably want to mitigate the amount of bad press you get by just avoiding bad press. So the best way to do it is obviously to kind of get rid of those kind of collaborations that might be a bit tense might be a bit um, controversial whatnot the Travis Scott thing though the difference here is that this just puts a worse light on him as a person when it comes to the up and coming trials or cases wherever it's going to be concerning the deaths at Asher world and it makes it seem like they're going to go after him super hard like this is what it's looking like it's not looking like they're going to say it's not your fault and it's the organized it's the kind of companies that you hire to put a festival together or whatever it may be it looks like they're going to obviously go after those people whether it's Rock Nation, or I don't know, whoever he's signed to, whether it's Live Nation, sorry, um, whoever whoever else is involved, they're obviously going to go for them, but there's also going to be some level of consequences being put at the feet of Travis Scott, which, again, I'm not too sure how I feel about that stuff. I think in general, in hindsight, all that stuff looks bad with him continuing to do the show and stuff, but I don't know, man. I don't know how much you can directly say he was to blame for the deaths, um, obviously, at the festival, but I guess the only thing I would say about that is, especially if you're a fan, you have to realize if that festival was a success and everyone left there saying that was one of the best festivals ever and they should do more of these Astro World festivals around the world and sponsors were falling over themselves to, you know, align themselves with that festival, then Travis would also get all the praise. No one would be mentioning Live Nation. No one would be mentioning whoever else helps out do the thing. No one would mention him. All the praise would fall at Travis Scott's feet. So if that's the case, if you have to, if you would accept all the praise if it went well, you also have to accept all the blame if it goes bad. That's really what real leadership is like, isn't it? Or what real, real leadership is about. You have to accept the, the good and the bad. And I guess, again, maybe because of the case, but I guess this unwillingness to accept blame so far is not looking good. And then also all these brands that he's, linked with prior because of how brand friendly he was ditching him at the first point of and again it's, it's not like they're this will be different if they ditched him when once the investigation started to ramp up and once the court date was announced and stuff that would make more sense but they're ditching him now and they have we haven't even got many details on what the court cases are like of course we ha we've heard that big number about i think it's a billion or something people are talking about about the a billion is it a billion or something the, the court case or, or something there's, there's some there's some number out there that exists where the parents are going to really sue really really high right in terms of the money in terms of compensation but we haven't really heard anything else apart from that it's just been you know whatever we heard so far in the press so the fact that these brands these organizations are deciding to sever their sever their connection with him so far that's not good the only saving grace with this would be in the headline is that it's on hold it's not being completely axed or cancelled so maybe there's some room for maneuver there but let's read the article itself it says travis scott's cactus jack collabor with dior has been put on ice dior made it clear on tuesday the project between travis and the dior men's artistic director kim jones hawking travis scott's jack line so have travis scott's cactus jack line would not be released in the foreseeable future and possibly never dior said um, our respect for everyone affected by the tragic events at Astrowood, um, Dior has decided to postpone indefinitely the launch of the products from the Cactus Jack collaboration um, that, that's been included in its summer 2022 collection. Um, sources connected with the Scott tell TMZ this was a mutual decision made by both Dior and Travis Scott. I don't believe that because so far, evidence we've seen so far, Travis Scott wants to perform. 
he wants to be out and about he wants to do his thing he doesn't really think he did anything wrong so to suggest that he was the one that sat down and said yeah Dior should chill out with the deal I don't think so especially come off the back of his um, um, drink thing deal being spon- being cancelled too I don't think that's true sources connected with Travis Scott tell TMZ this was a mutual decision um, and to postpone the upcoming collection due to due in June 2022 with both parties working to reschedule the launch at a later date there has been other projects and engagements that have been sidelined in the wake of the Destroy World tragedy. Among the projects are Nike, which is set to launch an Air Max One sneaker with Scott earlier this month. So you got Nike, you got the drink, you got this, you got Coachella. Crazy. As of as you know, ten people died during the first night of the festival, and more than three hundred people were injured. Scott continued performing for more than 40 minutes after the f- fire officials declared a mass casualty event. Scott says he had no idea of the calamity below and apparently neither did the cops who seemed oblivious to the deaths and the injured in the crowd. Had Dior gone through with the partnership, it would have been the first time the company collabed with a musician and it would have been the first time Dior allowed alternation, alteration sorry, of its logo. So it would have been a big deal, right? It's a big deal. Let's not get that twisted that this thing is getting cancelled, this thing is not going to be on. But... It just makes sense, man. I, like, I don't think with, with good faith you can go and do this, especially in the wake of everything going on. The last thing this guy needs to be thinking about is fucking Dior Jordan 1s and shit. You should be focusing on, you know, trying to build a good case for yourself, especially if you want to defend yourself and you think you really did nothing wrong. You need to focus on that. If it's a case of redemption, you need to basically look like you're somewhat remorseful. And I don't think, again, gallivanting around doing press for a Dior collection is a good idea. Um, for the brand, Dior is not good. Again, why, why, if you're Dior, why would you want to be aligned with this mess for free? If you can step away, why do it? Because again, they had nothing to do with the Asher World tragedy, but why would you intentionally get yourself involved in this and kind of just, you know, attract all this negative press when you don't have to, especially now considering the pandemic, considering everyone sells it down anyway. <coughs> you want to maximize your ability to sell garments and to shift product. And there's no, you know, worse away than doing it than kind of lining yourself with somebody at the moment who happens to be a bit of a social pariah. But like I said before, it's not a good sign for Travis if you're a fan of his because it looks like they're coming after him personally. Maybe redemption or <coughs> sorry. Maybe redemption. The good thing I could see, maybe the fact that it's on hold. So it's one thing that hasn't been indefinitely forever cancelled. But again, considering they're doing it so early, um, without no real details of what's going on in the court case and if he is to blame blah 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 this doesn't really speak well for the future of him and his career going forward man it really doesn't because i'm just trying to picture a scenario where he's back on stage doing what he does best he's out releasing music he's on twitter you know raging and t- t- saying stuff and i just i, I don't know I, I i can't really picture it in my head it just seems a bit far-fetched at the moment but you know maybe that is what it is <clears throat> 